Turkish online portal DefenseTurk.net has indicated that the Russian armed forces have deployed two S-7M Malka to the town of Vesela Lopan, 17 kilometers or about 10 miles from the Ukrainian border. The news was collaborated with Russian civilians who shot an amateur video of one of the separate military parking lots in the city. 2S7M Malka is a Soviet-era, self-propelled 203mm heavy artillery and is probably the most powerful one in its class. While latest reports indicated that President Putin may be backing out from an invasion, nothing can be stated with confidence yet. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian 2S7M Malka is a nightmare for Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The system was conceptualized to strike vital enemy assets in the tactical depth behind the front line. Technical requirements for the gun were drafted in March 1970, and the first serial Malka guns were supplied to high-power artillery units in the second half of the 1970s. The combat weight of the 2S7M is 46.5 tons and the crew is six people. The R-173 communications equipment is standard and carries eight rounds of ammunition. Melka has no turret and the gun is located at the back of the tracked undercarriage. The round of munitions includes breech-loading projectiles with variable charges. It can be ready to shoot for seven minutes when it's brought to the field. In 1983, 2S7 Malka was upgraded to 2S7 M Malka. The modernization was carried out by Ural Transmash. In the modernization, the gearbox, distribution organs, power supply, observation device, targeting system, intercom equipment, communication stations were changed, and the CBRN protection system was updated. Additionally, it's been made possible to aim at a target with a UAV. After modernization, the 2S7 Malka can fire more than two rounds per minute. The military balance said in 2018 the Russian high-power artillery units was armed with 60 Malka guns. Melka has two types of main ammunitions. One, high explosive fragmentation. It weighs 110 kilograms or 242 pounds and contains 17.8 kilograms or 39 pounds of explosives. The maximum range is 37 and a half kilometers or 23.3 miles and the initial speed is 960 meters per second. 2. Rocket-Assisted Projectiles It weighs 103 kilograms or 227 pounds and contains 13.8 kilograms or 30 and a half pounds of explosives. The range is 47.5 kilometers or 29.5 miles. One shot from either of these can destroy a decent-sized enemy stronghold. Due to the long range, the crew can fire one or two rounds and leave position 
before the first round hits the enemy position over 40 kilometers away. This makes the Malka less susceptible to counter battery fire. The gun can also fire anti concrete, nuclear, and chemical shells, but these have mostly been discontinued. Though artillery is seemingly old fashioned, they are and will continue to play an important role on the battlefield in the foreseeable future. An artillery barrage will keep the enemy's head down and provide opportunities for the infantry to advance under cover. Artillery barrages have also been known to have a physiological impact by demoralizing the opponent. It is cheaper and faster than air support and is now way more accurate as compared to the old days. 2S7 Malka epitomized the kind of odds the Ukrainian military faces as it prepares for a potential Russian invasion. It could be used to soften Ukraine's entrenched defenses and degrade morale before the infantry and armor push. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.